They call him the Prince of Kolkata, an attacking yet classy batter for Millennium India's fresh team. A NatWest series final at Lords revealed a passionate man with a burning desire to win. He led India to legendary victories against all odds. So you feel bad, but then you have the opportunity to bounce back in two days' time. See, the advantage of playing all the time is Monday ko har gaye, Thursday ko jeet sakte. That's what professional sport is. Gira. How will I remember? Be remembered. Wins in Australia, playing well in England, playing well in Pakistan, and and that's that's the way I looked at it. You know, I, I'm a little different. You know, in life, I've seen with my life, I tread the uncredited path. I... If one man revolutionized Indian cricket, it's none other than the Dada, Saurav Ganguly. The sight of Ganguly hammering away at bowlers on the offside was enough to keep anyone glued to the screen. His author. Debashish Datta spoke about his complete command of those classical offside shots. Be it his sizzling square cut or that magnificent square drive and his crisp cover drives, whichever your favorite shot, you were always going to be entertained by the prince. Saurav Ganguly was born on July 8th, 1972 in Kolkata, India. He is the youngest son of Chandidas and Nirupa Ganguly, an affluent family who owned a printing business young ganguly was initially discouraged from playing cricket due to parental and academic pressures but positive influence through his older brother snehashish a first class cricketer for bengal proved to be overwhelming interestingly he switched from right to left handed batting to borrow his brother's equipment ganguly was also influenced by english left hander david gower after a good run for his state team bengal in 1989 International cricket was beckoning. He started out with the national team in 1992 against Australia and the West Indies. However, Ganguly's attitude divided opinion, and as a result, he went through a dry spell on the sidelines. Then in 1996, he made an emphatic return to the national side with two test hundreds against England. His innings of 131 and 136 drew the attention of the selectors and signaled the beginning of his real journey. Ganguly was appointed captain in 2000 after the previous captain Mohammad Azuruddin who was dismissed after a match fixing scandal. Many people feel that he revitalized a side often considered timid in overseas conditions. One particular cricket innings by Ganguly could easily stand the test of time. In 1999, England hosted the Cricket World Cup. India and Sri Lanka were competing in a group match at Taunton, Somerset. After India lost the coin toss, they were forced to bat in cloudy condition that were less than ideal for batting. With only 6 runs on the board, Ganguly had just lost his opening partner. Rahul Dravid, who walked in at number 3, was a player better appreciated for his strong defense. Sri Lanka had excellent bowlers like Chaminda Was and Muthaiya Murli Dharan. who was still buoyed by their 1996 world cup victory however what followed was a spectacular display of cricket brilliance the pair used the two player 30 yard circle rule to smash 14 boundaries in the first 15 overs dravid had reached his half century in just 43 balls with ganguly providing support With calculated stroke play, Ganguly advanced to 50 runs from 68 balls. The pair had laid the groundwork for a large total and now needed to consolidate the middle overs. They did so by aiming for at least one boundary every other over and running well between the wickets. The run rate began to rise after the 35th over as both players saw an opportunity to gain a significant advantage with wickets in hand. Dravid's century came in the next over and Ganguly followed in the 39th. With two sixes in the 42nd over, Ganguly took his game to new heights. The carnage continued as Sri Lanka was unable to stop the flow of runs. India reached 300 after 21 runs were scored off the 45th over. Ganguly kept hitting sixes. Finally, he finished his magnificent knock of 183 runs off 158 balls. India easily defeated Sri Lanka, but this game was remembered for Ganguly's masterful knock. We are curious. Where do you think it ranks among the great one day innings? Next, to a famous home series back in the subcontinent. Indian cricket was in disarray when Ganguly took over as captain in 2000. The team was reeling from a match fixing scandal and self belief among players was at an all time low. Taking on Australia, who had won 15 straight games, was an intimidating prospect. 
However, as captain, Saurav Ganguly brought a fearless and combative approach. India also had exciting new talent in Harbhajan Singh and Zaheer Khan. They got off to a bad start, losing convincingly in the first test match in Mumbai. In the Kolkata test at Eden Gardens, they were being outplayed. First, the Aussies scored 445 runs, thanks to big innings from Matt Hayden and Steve Waugh. India's response was pitiful, and they were unable to match the bowling prowess of McGraw, Gillespie, and Kasprovich. They were asked to follow on, and many predicted an embarrassing defeat. Their second inning also got off to a bad start. When India's best player Sachin Tendulkar left, the score was 115 for 3. Ganguly's tenacious 48 of 81 balls aided the innings recovery. He was doing very well against the Australian spinners and it looked like he would be the one to lead the fight back. But this game was about to be turned on its head by two spectacular performances. VVS Lakshman and Rahul Dravid combined to amass 376 runs in more than 90 overs of batting. Lakshman made 281 and Dravid 180, setting up a chance for victory on the final day. Ganguly declared the innings, setting Australia 384 runs to win. It was a huge counterpunch to the opposition captain that had enforced an innings follow-on. On the field, Ganguly's aggressive tactics were also on display. He had instructed the team to put Australia under pressure through verbal hostility and aggressive close catchers. His chosen spinners, Harbhajan and Tendulkar, did not disappoint. Australia got off to a good start, but their batters faltered under pressure. They lost all their wickets in two thrilling sessions of cricket, leading to an emphatic Indian victory. Lakshman was unquestionably man of the match. Even though Rahul Dravid and the spinners contributed, it was clear that a genuine leader emerged from the shadows. They had a legitimate shot at winning the series, heading into the deciding game. Their revitalized performance in the decisive game ultimately led to a victory in the series. Ganguly had shown courage in the face of adversity in a crucial series. They planned to ride this wave of success to a successful tour of England. On 30th July 2002, India faced England in the final of the NatWest series. There was a fierce rivalry between the two teams at that time. During the English team's 2001 tour of India, many people thought India was the favourite. That was the case until England came back to tie the one-day series. Andrew Flintoff, a fan favourite in England, fueled the fire by taking his shirt off and celebrating passionately in front of the home fans. After this, the Indian team and fans were furious and thought that they might get their revenge. Thanks to the centuries from Captain Nasir Hussain and Marcus Trescothic, England set a challenging target of 325 runs. Rarely had it been possible to chase a score in excess of 300 to win the game. Aside from chasing, a 300-plus run total at Lords was a feat achieved just twice. The run chase started off very well thanks to both Ganguly and Virendra Sehwag. The pair's aggressive stroke play helped accelerate the scoring rate. At the end of the first 10 overs, the team had scored a healthy rate of 6.5 runs per over. Ganguly led by example, hitting 10 fours and 1-6. He got India off to a great start by scoring 60 runs in only 43 balls. With a run rate of over 7, they scored 100 by the 14th over. The probability of victory abruptly shrunk when Ganguly departed, as India collapsed to 147 for 5. However, India came close thanks to the heroic efforts of two young stars, Mohammad Kaif and Yuvraj Singh. In a tense finale, a panicked fielding overthrow secured a stunning victory. What followed was an outpouring of emotion that will be played back for years. Ganguly, an excellent model of self-control, sat quietly on the balcony of the Lord's Pavilion throughout all the tension. After the victory was confirmed, he burst into ecstasy and emotion, exposing his torso and frantically waving his shirt. India had defeated their opponents in the NatWest series against all odds. Many will believe that this moment was more than just a surprise shirt-waving celebration. India had recovered from a defeat to draw the most recent test series. Now they had come from an unlikely position to take the spoils of victory. They had previously stunned Australia and now England, demonstrating yet another sign of a rejuvenated Indian team. Next, to a memorable knockdown under and in very challenging conditions. Over the last decade, the last time any team had drawn against Australia in their backyard was New Zealand. 
India had never won a series in Australia and their last test match victory came in a series draw in 1981. Ganguly was determined to do well and even flew to Australia to prepare 5 months before the tour. The scene was Brisbane in December 2003 at the Gabba, an Australian stronghold. The West Indies were the last visiting team to win a test there in 1988. Remember that famous hat-trick by Courtney Walsh? The Aussies posted a par score of 323 thanks to a century by Justin Langer. What followed was a meek response by the Indian batters who slipped to 127 for 4. Ganguly appeared confident and began the rebuild with some excellent boundaries. When joined by teammate VVS Lakshman, he was approaching a half century and he brought up this milestone with a glorious cover drive. Runs flowed with the pair at the crease and the run rate went past 3. Ganguly's brilliant 100 came off 135 balls and featured 13 boundaries. He kept going, eventually scoring 144 runs and leading his team to a respectable 409 total. The game eventually ended in a draw but set up an action-packed contest which resulted in a respectable 1-1 series draw. Later that year, he led India on an incredible journey to the World Cup in South Africa. Unfortunately, they were defeated in the final by the Australians. But by then, Ganguly had earned the nation's respect and will be remembered as a special hero of Indian cricket. It is without doubt Saurav Ganguly rejuvenated Indian cricket after a period of turmoil. Fans and teammates lovingly call him Dada. He also had a refreshing knack of standing up to hostile opposition. With 37 test victories, he will be remembered as one of India's greatest leaders. But this is just the beginning. Check out more of Cricket Crafters videos starting with some of Ganguly's popular teammates right here.